Hi friends, so we'll see if I publish this video, but I kind of want to say something about this. One of the most largest upcoming sports when it comes to shooting sports all over the world is IPSC, IPSC. and uh, Russia does this. That might be a, not be a big thing. Sports should be enjoyed by everyone and uh, shooting sports is one of those things. The thing is, shooting sports are also part of a military context. It's part of that in Sweden where the shooting uh, federations are voluntary defense organizations. And it's part of that in Russia as well. So here we have th their symbol is a shield with a Russian flag and a bear on it. That's fine. So let's see what they're actually doing officially on ipsc.ru on their Instagram channel. Here they're celebrating this guy's birthday and a veteran of an Alpha Anti-Terror Unit, Colonel of the Reserve, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, of course, military people are going to compete in this. That's not such a big deal. But please remember that uh, Russian athletes are not welcome in many places. And this is because they're committing a genocide in Ukraine. Uh, that's kind of an important thing we shouldn't forget. Uh, according to any definition, they're, they're committing war crimes and trying to exterminate the Ukrainian people. And uh, yeah, uh, let's continue on. Who's this guy? This guy, Vitaly, however you pronounce that, got re-elected. And um, he's the president of the IPSC Federation globally. He's a Russian guy, okay? Russians are famously not corrupt and never mixes politics and whatever. And, and this is certainly not a big deal that IPSC Federation Global is basically in Russian hands. This guy looks trustworthy. It's probably not a big issue, right? And then let's continue on. Yeah, St. Petersburg Championship. This is a pretty vanilla picture. Let's continue on. What's this? Uh, some practical shooting sports. Uh, and it's pretty much militarized. They have the little St. George ribbons they have on the military parades on May 9th. They're marching. Yeah. It is... They have, they have literally militarized and propagandized the sport of Ipsic in, oh look, a hammer and sickle there as well. They, they've done it to this sport. So let's see what this is then. So our guys, athletes and coaches were called for partial mobilization as it's called there. Okay. And what are they doing? Well, they're collecting gear for the military. They are actively supporting uh, the, the war of aggression in Ukraine, the Ipsic Federation. And by extension, the Ipsic Federation internationally is uh, supporting the Russia in the war in Ukraine. If you're looking at their official post they put up on Instagram. Uh, I don't know what you want to do about this, but I kind of want to stay far away from Ipsic right now. I've done that in the past, but I'm going to take extra steps away from Ips Ipsic right now. If you look at what's been going on in the European Union, European Parliament has declared Russia to be a state sponsor of terrorism. This happened on the 23rd, which is earlier this week when I'm recording this on Sunday. Do you want to be... Do you want to be part of a shooting organization that actively supports a state that's a state sponsor of terrorism in the act of committing said terrorism, the war of aggression on Ukraine, which contains genocide, unprovoked attacks on civilians, hospitals, children. Uh, they found mass graves. It's a horrible, horrible war in Europe that's, uh, I don't need to say it, just, just watch the news, I guess. And the Ipsic Federation needs to very soon come out and take very large steps to distance themselves from Russia, from everything Russia does in the name of Ipsic. Otherwise, this sport, I, I wouldn't want to be connected to it at all. My shooting club is part of the Swedish Ipsic Federation, but if that's going to be tied to terrorism and genocide, 
I don't want to have anything to do with it. So I don't know. They're gonna have to take some steps pretty soon, pretty soon. And uh, yeah, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good at all. So I just wanted to put this out there and say that I at least does not want to have anything to do with that bullshit. It is a stupid war started for stupid reasons. And that's not what this is about. The net result of it all is horrible, whatever the reasons you might believe in. And uh, I don't need to have anything to do with that shit. Okay. That was this video and you guys have a good day, I hope.